Hello, people of the internet. So today, uh, I'm gonna start working on getting my winch line replaced in the Wrangler. Had it sitting around for a while, I'm just putting it off, I got no motivation. Can't, can't do nothing when you got no motivation. Figure out how to get motivation, let me know. Um, I'm gonna swap out the steel wire rope for synthetic, mainly for the uh, weight difference on it. I just, I know it's not going to help improve anything at all. It just, for me, I want to see if there's any, you know, if, if it amounts to anything. Uh, I'd like to say that I went with a really nice brand, you know, something fancy. I did not. I went and uh, did my usual and found something on Amazon that I could get delivered. I just didn't have, just didn't have a shit ton of money to go spend on it. I needed to do it. Uh, so it was a toss-up kind of between this and the Harbor Freight. And I didn't have to drive an hour to get to Harbor Freight to get this. So uh, I went with the almighty Stegadon brand. Uh, let's see here. We'll flip everything over. Yes, the Stegadon winch rope. Uh, I got it in orange. Comes wrapped up. I will not be using their hook because I have a nicer piece and it even comes with your warning strap you know or your, your marker hey don't don't unwheel past this uh, it has the aluminum fair lead on it uh, these are pretty standard I've actually had between installs on my stuff and other people's stuff other than whatever they stencil or laser etch or you know carve into the actual body, I have never been able to notice a functional difference uh, between any of these from the like, you know, cheapest bottom of the barrel ones I've seen guys pick up to the most premium ones that you can get. So we're just gonna install that because it was a very minor price upgrade from this. And you can pick and choose colors. I just really wanted orange. I liked it. Uh, and I got a generic uh, winch overlay because from everything I've read, regardless of brand, quality, and everything else, the synthetic lines are just, uh, you know, UVs get them. They just do. And as far as it goes with this, when I first got that winch, I actually got it with a very name brand cover, like one of these neoprene covers. And I, and I don't, I, I want to say Daystar, but I, I don't remember who it was, and so I'm not going to besmirch anybody, but I had it on there, uh, and it was kind of pricey, um, and it lasted me about six months before it just deteriorated, like the UVs just, just destroyed it, and I uh, never ran one again after that, because it was kind of, yeah, it's kind of upset. You spend a decent amount of money on something, you get a name brand, and then it doesn't last for diddly squat. So I bought the generic one uh, that everybody seems to get, and I figure it was significantly less than name brand, and if it lasts me six months, I, my feelings will be hurt much, much less. So that's the plan. Um, wow. I am... Tell I've not been videoing hardly at all and so I'm back to like not being able to stand in my garage without blinding everybody in the camera so I'm gonna probably move keep looking out there trying to figure out where I'm gonna do it I gotta get the old line out gotta change fair lead and I'm gonna use a tire trick to spool up the new line I've got a big uh, like over the road tire a 22 like a 22R series tire uh, I plan on screwing a board into and then just dragging that to give me the line tension. I could hook up to a tree and drag the Jeep, but I don't know. I saw this. It worked. I know a couple of guys that do it and uh, give it a shot. What the hell? What's the worst that happens? I got to unspool all the line, go hook to a tree and then drag the Jeep. That's what it is. Uh, it's story of my life. So I'm going to move the Wrangler into a spot where I can in the driveway where I can unspool everything, hook it up, and maybe we'll hook up the GoPro. I used the GoPro, I think, last time. I kind of like its video better than the other one that I had. Uh, but we'll set up a camera out there, video me looking like a moron, and uh, 
see what we can break. So yeah, the last couple of times I was using it, I was a bit mean. So you can see here, uh, that is not what you want your wire rope to look like. It is pretty well damaged. You got that spot there, you can come up the cable a little further. You got that spot there. And you come up the cable a little further and you got that there. And you know, the cable's old and I don't always take the best care of it. So this is what happens when you do that. Just be mindful though, when you start to get, well, like this is probably the least, least offending. Uh, when you start to get kinks like that, it's definitely time to start figuring out and planning what your replacement's gonna be and uh, what you're gonna do. So just to show everybody, you know, that's what it looks like, it's bad. Uh, I'm gonna take this guy off of here which should kind of be fun. Um, that's a bolt, or nut for the bolt down there. And way in there is where my captive screw is. So, yeah, let's get to breaking stuff. Well, this isn't going to work. So that's the set, that's the clamping screw, or holding screw, or whatever it's called, that came with the winch, uh, as you can see. Maybe you can see, sorry, the sun came out. Now you can't see nothing, but it does not pass through. So, gotta go find one that's a little bit, a little bit longer. Hopefully I got something. Uh, check back soon. All right, so this is what I'm talking about with the tire. Um, most of the time people use a rim mounted tire and they, uh, so they just loop it through the, loop it through the wheel. But I got this one laying around. I found it the, uh, I don't know, I found it on one of our trails, so. I'm just going to use it. It's got enough weight. And basically, it just puts enough resistance on this end that as you're guiding it up there onto the spool, it doesn't, uh, it wants to stay tight and it doesn't want to like open up and uh, walk out on itself. Um, that was a terrible shot. Sorry about that. So, yeah, I'm going to get back over there and do it. Uh, the only thing that I had to change, because I just didn't have one is the uh the holding bolt uh it's quarter 20 thread came as a uh probably a grade five or grade eight button head uh allen allen screw and i just didn't have any uh in sae i don't you know I've, things have been metric for so long i kind of moved away from a lot of the sae stuff i got all the basics and everything but when it comes to the specialty hardware i got more of that in metric than i do in sae so that's just something i got to pick up later on down the road and back to the adventure at hand
Okay, so that's done. It's spooled up. Everything's fine. It's dandy. Uh, I can already tell I'm not going to like the cover. It just doesn't uh, fit right around the wires. So with the way the wires come down, uh, you'd almost have to put the cover on and then route the wires uh, around it. I don't know. I'm just not super happy with it. I will figure something out. This plate here is basically an adapter between the metal cloak bumper and a standard flare lead. And while I do have, I made it, and I do have good gaps, I might have to open that up a little bit just because of the, uh, the material. I don't want it, you know, I don't want it chafing or anything. And right now it's, it's got a gap, but it's close. Uh, everything's in there. May not, may not end up going with the cover. Like I said, I'm going to fight with it a little bit. I've been messing around with it for a few minutes. I'm not, just not super happy. Uh, I do have the Factor 55 uh, hookup point, and that's why I went with it uh, instead of the hook that this rope came with. Uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around again. Hopefully, that's a little less jarring. I gave you warning that time. Didn't mean to do it without warning last time. The biggest thing that I'm already, and one of the reasons it took me so long to make a decision on what I was going to go with, is uh, I'm pretty hard on my cable. I like the wire rope. Uh, and like I said, I use this winch most of the time for doing, uh, helping pull trees down. And so if I've got to drag it through brush or over a couple of rocks or something like that, I don't have a problem with it. Well, with synthetic rope, you got to be a lot more mindful of that stuff and a lot more careful. You can't just, you know, drag it through the brush and drag it through the, the rocks and the trees, you know, uh, while they are abrasion resistant not abrasion proof and they're definitely not as resistant as the steel cable is i think probably after a season or two of using it um i'm probably going to go back to a steel cable because i know my style of usage and i'm just hard on it i i just am i'm i am mean to winch cable uh and probably shouldn't be I mean, I should just be better at it. I should get more snatch blocks. I should do different things. I should climb up or, you know, whatever it is. I should be more proactive about it. And I'm not. I just have always been that way. I'm mean on winch cable. So I can already tell while I like it. I think it's cool you can get them in colors and stuff like that. I think it's cool that they weigh less. Uh, I can already tell from my general use. I'm, I'm probably going to go back to a steel uh, wire rope. But we'll, we'll give it a shot. If I can change my old ignorant habits, maybe I'll stay with this. I mean, like I said, I, I do like it. I am overall impressed. Uh, the only thing that I had a kerfuffle with, again, was the uh, spool screw, the, the retaining screw that bolts it to the spool. And that can happen with any of the brands. Uh, sometimes, you know, the one you have is too long and you need a shorter one. Sometimes when you got is too short and you need a longer one. It, it can go either way. So that's, that's just part of the game. Uh, I'll have to put it through its paces. I got a couple of trees that I need to take down soon, so I'll put it through its paces and come back with a report and see what's what on it. And I'll let you guys know if it's any good or or not. Like I say, it had plenty of good reviews online. Okay, so anyway, everybody, get out, have fun, do something you like, and uh, you know, make better decisions than I do, or at least plan out your decisions a little better than I do. And uh, like I say, I'll let you know how this, how this rope works out in the long run or the short run, depending on how fast I break it. Because, again, not the smartest guy in the block. Uh, yeah. All right. Have fun.